Hello survivors, how are you doing today? Um, just a little heads up. When people say that Sharon is Karen, let me tell you something. Just because they share with you does not mean that they care about you. I had to explain that to my seven-year-old daughter. Now, they, the people that say Sharon is Karen are the ones that don't have nothing to share and are the ones that want to take what you have or what you have to offer. Nine out of ten, they don't have anything, but they they see you with everything. And they were like, well, Sharon is Karen. No, it's not. It's only Karen when they don't have anything. It's only Karen when they see their needs, what they can get out of you, until there is no more. So, people be using the Sharon is Karen cliche very loosely check the motives because when they when the person says that they have itinerary motives to fit their needs so the question is is Sharon Karen no it's not Sharon is Karen is only on if you only have good intentions. But 9 out of 10 the people who says that don't have good intentions. So you have to decipher the difference and use your spiritual discernment. Stop telling these people that Sharon is caring. If you don't have anything to offer, do not do that. When you have common ground, when you both have something to share, then it's the, it's a true meaning. But if one person has and the other one doesn't, and you're hollering about sharing this care because you don't have it, that's not right. That's not right. I'd rather you be truthful than, you know, trying to hide a motive. Because some people are jealous when they say sharing is caring. You know that? You have something and they don't have it. And they're like, hmm, well, Sharon is caring. Oh, no, it's not. Not in this book. Not today. Not today. Yeah, just like I said, just because they share with you don't mean they care about you. Take care of yourselves. And I pray that you, this will help somebody. All right.